Hello there. Everybody, what's up? Welcome back to an exciting episode of Fandom Fights. Got a great teams match for you here. Two teams we haven't seen in a minute. One a bit longer of a minute than uh, the other. But uh, we have Galactes Nuts facing off against the returning Manhattan Project. Former champions uh, took a year off. They, they retired with the belts, but they're coming back. Since then, Galactes Nuts has challenged for those vacant belts, has made some serious runs at those vacant belts. Um, definitely up their level as a team. I'm excited to see these two teams play today for a very interesting prize. The winner of this uh, match today becomes the number two seed in the uh, summer tournament, the summer teams tournament. Could be either team, uh, definitely both worthy and both capable of winning. So I'm excited to see uh, what happens. Hopefully you are too. Let's see what the teams have to say in the promos. What's up, buddy? It's been way too long, bro. I feel like I <laughs> here in, in years but um yeah new season new get up um i haven't watched a single fandom movie in in over a year i think <laughs> oh i'm ready to get the show on the road yeah me too man i'm actually been have been watching fandom movies here and there mixing and matching but i'm just i'm just gotta be back in the ring with you man side by side so let's see what the season brings to us man hopefully we get a yeah. loose title just to I'm excited for these guys they're uh they're obviously really good so I see. Yeah. Uh, we hold up. Yep. Um, I don't just manage anybody. Don't fuck this up. This is the holiest of holy days, and we're playing fucking trivia on it, and I have a debate later. So, either lose or win really fast. I don't really care. So, let's play. Let's do it. Never thought I'd see the day where Caleb Coho didn't say a single word in the promo, uh, but here we are. So let's get into the match. Uh, we're going to start with round number one. Round number one is going to work like this. There's going to be 10 questions in the realm of fandom fights. Each player is going to have 15 seconds to write down their answer. At the end of 15 seconds, I'll say pens down, at which point the players will reveal their answer and say it aloud. Each correct answer is worth one point apiece. Should any individual player get all 10 questions correct in round number one, they would receive a bonus question. Each team will have three repeats, one challenge for the entirety of the match. Teams, any questions at the end of round number one? No. All right, your first question will come in the category of creature features. Elias Cotius plays what recurring creature features character? I write down the words Manhattan and nuts on my board. Manhattan's nuts. I think that was Oppenheimer's uh, original title. <laughs> that was Oppenheimer. Right. <laughs> right. Four, three, two, one, pens down. We'll go to Coho. Casey Jones. Antonio. Casey Jones. Scully. Fuck, I said Strider. And uh, Abel. Another guy with a hockey mask. Casey Jones. Casey Jones is correct. Uh, Galactic's Nuts takes the early one, uh, 2 1 lead. As we move to the next question, which comes in the category of DreamWorks. Which DreamWorks film features characters trying to reach a location called Heck Mountain? I'm sorry, you cut out a little bit for me. Technical repeat, your question again. Which DreamWorks film features characters trying to reach a location called Heck Mountain? Yeah, we have uh, three players who it's been like several months. Antonio's the only one who's played kind of recently. Um, this is interesting. A lot of new shit being thrown at you guys. Curious to see how you handle it. Five, four, three, two, one. Like a repeat. Oh, yep. That was a repeat uh, for Galactic's Nuts. Oh, yeah. The question again. Which DreamWorks yeah. film features characters trying to reach a location called Heck Mountain? Um, got 
trying to chat just to be here. Yes, yes, it's Cody. That's how magical things have happened since then. Um, but yeah, no, new categories, new lots of things for veteran players, two former singles champions on this. That's so wild. This is good to be here. Thanks, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Antonio. Oh, no. Don't put Panda too. We'll go to Scully. Trolls World Tour. We'll go to Abel. He said Spirit Untamed. And we'll go to Coho. I said Abominable. One of you is correct, and it is Abel. Uh, Spirit Untamed is the correct <laughs> answer. Uh, so you widen the lead three to one as you get to the next question, which comes in the category of horror icons. In Halloween H2O, 20 years later. Lori refuses to let John go on a school trip to which national park? Um, the person who wrote this question wrote out the word 20. Like the word, not the number. Which is weird. So I have just fixed it. I also didn't That's write like who wrote this. Right? It's weird. I love Five, Halloween. It's the 20. Four, three, two... One pens down. We'll go to Scully. Yosemite. Uh, Abel. Right. That's what it's called. I said Yellowstone, but that's what I meant. That's fair. We'll go to Coho. Yosemite. And Antonio. You got a like. I said Yellowstone also. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, Yosemite is what we were looking for. So with that, Manhattan ties the game. It's three all. Uh, as we move to the next question, which comes in the category of epic adventures. Your question is. How does Will say he knows how to free Jack from his cell when Will agrees to help him in Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl? It's been a while since I talked to Abel. I don't know if he knew all of these new things were even here. No. Okay, <laughs> good. With the sunglasses, it's hard to get a read as to whether you're surprised to hear a pirate's question or not. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Pens down, Abel. And we'll go to Abel. I said he works at a blacksmith and makes the hinges. We'll go to Coho. Uh, he helped build the cell door. We'll go to Antonio. Because he helped build the cells. We'll go to Scully. Yeah, he built the cell that Jack uh, I'm going to accept everyone. He... He knows the hinges. He knows how the hinges work because he built the hinges, but he built the cell door. So I'm going to accept everyone. That's going to be a clean sweep. We're going to be at five points apiece as we get to the next question, which comes in the category of Star Trek. Who pushes Beverly Crusher into the ocean with Worf at the beginning of Star Trek Generations? About my generation. Uh, so I told the players before this, I'm a wee bit tipsy. And usually when Tim's here, only one of us is allowed to be tipsy. Uh, but I went to a happy hour, and then Tim was like, I'm still working. I was like, shit, Tim. But I Five. believe the rest of us are sober. Five. That's good. That balances it out. Three. For now. Two. For one. For now. <laughs> For now. Pens down. We'll go to Coho. Uh, Riker. We'll go to Antonio. Data. We'll go to Scully. Data. And Abu. Hey, girl, a nice, good old fandom question. Data. Data is correct. Uh, Nuts takes the lead, seven to six. Let's move to the next question, which comes in the category of the worlds of DC. In Blue Beetle, it is stated that Jaime Reyes majored in what in college? General. Fishing answer. Oh, excuse me. Um, I'm in college perpetually. So think about that. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Antonio. Engineering? Uh, we'll go to Scully. Engineering. We'll go to Abel. I said law. And Kovo. I said business. 
Once again, one of you is correct. And once again, it is Abel. Uh, we're looking for law, pre-law. Uh, either would have been acceptable. So not to go wide in the lead. It is eight to six. As we move to the next question, which comes in the category of Marvel. How does Peter's mother die as seen in The Amazing Spider-Man 2? Um, this movie was not amazing. In fact, it's maybe the first memory I have of going to a theater to be excited for a film and being like, and immediately leaving the movie being like, that was shit. There are other movies where I like went and saw, and I was like, that was good. And then later I was like, eh, it was kind of bad. But this one I left knowing. This is like monuments, monuments, men. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Scully. She's shocked. We'll go to Abel. I had the wrong movie for the whole time, and then a uh, gunshot. <laughs> go to Coho. It's a plane crash. And Antonio. Shot. Shot is correct. She is shot before the plane crashes. I had like Green Goblin's glider. <laughs> <That's weird. laughs> um, nope. So, uh, not to widen the lead again, it's 10 to 7. Three point game is good to the next question, which comes in the category of DC. What is the first name of Anton Arcane's stepdaughter in The Return of Swamp Thing? Sorry. The most apologies that I could offer for this question. <laughs> You're forgiven. Thank you. Appreciate it. it wasn't me, but I did uh, approve of it. So can't really pass the blame. <laughs> we will get answers in. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Abel. I said Abigail. We'll go to Coho. Abigail. We'll go to Antonio. No names. <laughs> and uh, Scully. Yeah, Abby. Abby. Abby Abigail is correct. Uh, Manhattan will shorten the lead there. It is 11 to 9. Let's move to the penultimate question, which comes in the category of law and order. Pedro Brofman composed, or Bromfman composed the score for the most recent installment in which law and order franchise? Bromfman. Didn't write the question. Let me just look up. That's a real name. Yeah, that's it. Bromfman. Good shit. Five, four, want the three, two, yep. One. Pens down. We will start with Coho. Bad boys. We'll go to Antonio. So bad boys, bad boys we'll go to Scully. I said Robert. And Abel. I'll set that. One of you is correct. And obviously it's the one person who didn't answer the same as everyone else. It's Scully or Robocop is I, correct. That is in law and order now. That's in law and order now. Yep, that was that is switched from <laughs> good thing to keep note for the future. Uh, but Manhattan has shortened the lead again. It is 11 to 10 as we get to the final question of the round, which comes in the category of criminal underworld. In 1960s Ocean's Eleven, what type of specific transportation does Josh Howard take to smuggle the money away? This is a category two now. Cool one. Big fan of it, quite frankly. Here, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Antonio. Garbage truck. We'll go to Scully. Garbage truck. Abel. I said something wild. I said a jet ski, but it's the sixties, so obviously <laughs> not. That's very coho. No. Nothing. Uh, garbage truck is correct. So Antonio and Scully will with that. And with that, that brings us to the end of round number one. Uh, Galactic's nuts in the lead 12 to Manhattan Projects uh, 11.
One point game as we move into round number two here. So round number two is going to work. It is the wheel round. We have a wheel with eight fandom categories on it, as well as spinners and opponent's choice. Each player will get a spin at the wheel. If they like what they spin the first time, they can keep it. If not, they can choose to spin again, but they will be forced to keep what they spin the second time. You get five questions in the chosen category, each worth two points apiece, unless you'd like to check down a multiple choice, in which case it'll only be worth one, but be on the lookout as stealing is available in round number two. Your categories on the wheel today are Epic Adventures, Worlds of DC, Criminal Underworld, Marvel, Law and Order, Creature Features, Sci-Fi Icons, and MCU. Abel Antonio, Galactic's Nuts, you are in the lead. Would you like to spin first or defer to Manhattan Project? Uh, I feel great. Let's go second. Okay, let's defer. All right, you are deferring, which means here comes Mr. Newberry. And Manhattan Project, this will be your first spin. It lands on opponent's choice. Goodbye, Mr. Newberry. And yeah. Alba Antonio, let me know if you need the categories again. Great strategizing on our part, Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> we got lucky. Um, what do you want to give them? Only because I'm not really a fan of that. I'll say creature features, but I mean, I don't know what else you feel. I can rather sure. Yeah. Or do you want to give them law and order? Mm, no, we want to keep that. Yeah, we want to keep that for us. Creature features. Okay, let's do it. I don't know what what that's going, what that's about. <laughs> exactly. uh, all right, uh, Manhattan Project. You've been assigned the category of creature features. I will be reading your questions. Are you prepared for them? Sure. Your first question. Actors Tyler Labine and Jamie Harris appear in which Planet of the Apes film? Um, I feel like that's one of the older ones. Maybe. Burton is the first that, uh, that came to mind. Oh, if you think it's Burton, then... I mean, I, I think we should almost, we'll just be safe. Okay. Sure. Five. So, Four. Multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are is it A, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, B, War for the Planet of the Apes, C, Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, or D, Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Okay. Maybe Rise. Jamie Harris. That name doesn't do anything for me. Um, I think either Rise or War, then. Is, those is Levine like maybe the neighbor in Rise? Maybe. Five. Want to repeat the question? Yeah. Two. The question. All right, that is your uh, first repeat. The question again. Actors Tyler Labine and Jamie Harris appear in which Planet of the Apes film? And your options are A, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, B, War for the Planet of the Apes, C, Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, or D, Beneath the Planet of the Apes? I think it'll rise, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Right. Rise of the Planet of the Apes, final answer. That's correct for one point. Your second question. In Jurassic World Dominion, what type of food does Maisie feed to Blue's baby the first time she sees it? Oh, fuck. It's, oh, oh, Lord, I like literally see it. Um, right. Is it like a type of cereal, type of candy, type of meat or grain? I think, ah, uh, just go multiple choice. Five. Five. Four. Multiple choice. All right, your multiple choice top jar is it A, an apple, B, chicken, C, toast, or D, a hot dog? I think it's toast. I think it's toast? I have a weird feeling. I think it's toast. Okay, we'll go for it. Uh, toast, final answer. That is correct for one point. All right, your third question. I'm moving on a plane. <laughs> That's good. I, actually. Your third question. What kind of animals are Cindy and Sandy in Jaws 3D? Cindy and Sandy in Jaws 3D are uh, dolphins, I'm pretty sure. Forget that? Yeah. Go for it. Dolphins, final answer. That's correct for two points. Nice. Manhattan, your penultimate uh, question. Which monster are Emma and Madison observing when we first see them in Godzilla, King of the Monsters? Oh, they're observing... Oh, they're in the okay. They're in the facility. Like, when they're in a jungle facility, but it's not Kong. So, uh, shit. You want to go multiple? 
Yeah. Four. Both were close. Your multiple choice options are is it A, Rodan, B, Ghidorah, C, Kong, or D, Mothra? Okay, so Mothra's in the first one, so it's not Mothra. Right? I'm pretty sure. And it's not Kong, so it's. Is it the first one? Yeah, I think it's the first one. All right, we go for it. A, final answer. It is incorrect. Galacti's nuts chance for a one point seal. Your options again are A, Rodan, B, Ghidorah, C, Kong, or D, Mothra. Is it Mothra? That's, it what, Mothra? I, it's yeah, Mothra. that's what I have. That's what I have right here. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Mothra, final answer. That is correct for a one point steal. Okay. Okay. Manhattan Project, your final uh, question in the category of creature features. What type of weapon does Michelangelo frequently use throughout the Ninja Turtle series? Mikey is. Nunchucks? Yeah, he's yeah. he's nunchucks. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, nunchucks, final answer. A fellow chucker. Uh, that is correct. <laughs> for two more <laughs> points. In the end of Manhattan's uh, round number two, they get their score up to 17 with the Steels. Galactic's Nuts is at 13. Uh, so we'll bring back up the wheel. And Galactic Nuts, this will be your first spin. Glad us to get lucky again. And what do you know? <laughs> it also lands on opponent's choice. We'll bring in Cody. Let me know. Um, uh, yeah, I don't love a lot of these. Um, I would probably say something that's newer. Right? Yeah, I would lean Epic Adventures okay. if I was being... I mean, because... I he did hit the first one, but again, it can go way different than that. Um, unless you guys have a different... Strength I don't think Criminal Underworld would be a great idea because I think... Didn't they put that on the wheel? Or did they not? Either way, I just I still think I think those movies bounce and people... Okay. At least they like... I think Antonio... Uh, well, you have like adventures, so it'll go deeper anyway. Like because if, if there's steals, then we got it. Say again? If there's steals, Cuddle, what'd you say? It'll go deeper anyways with Epic Adventures with less movies, right? That's what I guess. So yeah, I, I think they're guaranteed on Middle Earth, but anything else it could it could sway. So I that's my pick. You guys can decide, but that's my I would I would say Epic Adventures then, right, Scully? Epic, okay. Epic Adventures. Okay. All right. Sounds like a plan. Uh Galactic's nuts, you've been assigned Epic Adventures. I'll be reading your questions. Are you prepared for them? Coho, it's fewer, not less. <laughs> Your first question in Epic Adventures. Which Epic Adventures film features a ship called the Providence? Ah, remind me what's in this. Uh, so, Pirates of the Caribbean, Indiana Jones, Chronicles of Narnia. All right. Providence is uh, on Stranger Tides. Oh, okay. Go for that. On Stranger Tides, final answer. That's correct for two points. Your next question. Who plays Lucy Pevensey in the Chronicles of Narnia trilogy? Oh, it's, the one, it's the one franchise I didn't get the chance to really try out. I feel like I'll know it a multiple choice, but I'm just going off of like memory from like 20 years ago. <laughs> Georgie Henley, final answer. That is correct for two points. <laughs> Your third question. What is the first type of creature that Bilbo kills using Sting in an unexpected journey? This is all you, man. I hate these. <laughs> Isn't it like a spider? No, it's an orc. Oh. No for it. <laughs> orc, why not answer that is incorrect, Manhattan Project. Chance for the two point steal. I believe it's a goblin because that's right before he meets uh, Gollum. Okay. All you go ahead. Goblin, final answer. That's unfortunately also incorrect. We're looking for a warg. Oh. 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 Doesn't kill any of the goblins and then Sorry. Sorry. The orcs. Yes. I, was like, I knew it's not a goblin, so you <laughs> was ready to challenge that. All right. Um, uh, Galactic's nuts. Your next question. 
What type of transportation do Indy and the villains take to go back in time in Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny? A plane. A plane, yeah. An aeroplane. Final answer. That is correct for two points. And Coho, I agree with your gesture at the mention of the film. It's not very good. Uh, Galactic's Nuts, your final question in Epic Adventures. Bolg retrieves the second orc army from what location in the Battle of the Five Armies? We need the name of the location. I need two other questions. Yeah. <sighs> uh, is it Wunderbad? Is that what it's in? You want to want to try just in case pronunciation is going to be a pain? No, I mean, it's Gundabad. Where do you want? Okay, yeah. I mean, I trust you when it comes to that, man. Gundabad, final answer. That is correct for two more points. Uh, and the end of Galactic's Nuts round number two. They get, they get their score up to 21. Uh, Manhattan Project still at 17. We have a four point game going into round number three. Here's how round number three is going to work it is the betting round. We have five more questions in the realm of fan of fights. On some teams here in the category, they can choose who will take it. Uh, the other player will have to take question two. Teams can reset on questions three and four, and teams can confer on the fifth and final question. Once they hear the category, they can pay anywhere between zero and two points on the question. If they get the question correct, they will gain those points. If they get the question incorrect, they will lose those points. We will play until someone is mathematically eliminated or we have reached the end of the match. Players, any questions? We get into round number three. Let's do it. No. All right. First uh, category you have points on is Star Trek. Let's get bets starting with Manhattan Project. I'll take it and go two. And Galactic's nuts. I'm taking it for one. All right, can we question get a quick, in Star Trek? What, sorry, can we get a quick update on, on the how many repeats we have? Sorry. Yes, uh, you both have two repeats left. Both teams okay. have two left. Uh, Four-point game. All right, your question in Star Trek. What is the name of the Vulcan who dies in the transporter malfunction in Star Trek, the motion picture? <clears throat> I need some water here, and there's none nearby, so... That's unfortunate. Um, yeah. Since we uh, already... Now, you know what? I'll talk about Star Trek after the Star Trek question, and then we can we can get into it. But a Star Trek uh, crew member is looking at me right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with uh, Scully. We've got two. Sonak. And Antonio. This made up with Vulcan sounding name, so Doc. <laughs> that is a Vulcan sounding name. It's one letter off, but Sonak uh, is the correct answer. So Manhattan Project will gain two points. Uh, Galactic's Nuts will lose one point. Uh, that math is not right, so we're going to take a second. I have 20 to 19. Is that what you all have? Yes. No. And that math is correct. Look at that. Fantastic. Good shit. Uh, 2019, Galactic's not still in the lead. This next question that Abel and Coho have to take will come in the category of DC. Let's get bets starting with Abel. I drew this thing. And Coho. All right, your question in DC. At the end of the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, what does Tom Sawyer place atop the burial site of Alan Quartermain? One day, Tim searched the internet just a little bit too much and learned that there were some DC films that we had not realized in the past. He really didn't need, he really didn't need to do all that for us. Like, we're fine. <laughs> Honestly, it added some variety. I was kind of like, oh, cool. New shit to write about. That's exciting. <laughs> but well, let me just quickly make four, Dune DC. Three, two. Repeat it. All right, that is Galactic's Nuts' second repeat. Question again. At the end of the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, what does Tom Sawyer place atop the burial site of Alan Quartermain? I haven't said the word atop in a question, I think, ever. So that's kind of fun. I don't know if it should be two words, but it's not. Just one. I was at a, a restaurant prior to this and I got home in time and then my, my, my Wi-Fi wasn't working, but we were at happy hour. And then at the end of happy hour, our waitress was like, so now it's ladies night. So like, 
Cosmos are half price, and I was like, okay, but I'll be back. <laughs> Two. I'm gonna have one. to hit the repeat one more All time. Right. That is the final repeat for Galactic's nuts. We're done. Question again. At the end of the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, what does Tom Sawyer place atop the burial site of Alan Quartermain? And yeah, no, I uh, that was fun. Good times. Half price drinks. Big fan. Uh, some chicken. Boneless chicken was good. Good answers in. Five, four, three. Two, one, hands down. We will start with Abel. I'm sorry, bro. It wasn't coming to me. I said rifle. And we'll go to Coho. Hat. Rifle is the correct answer. Gun. It is a rifle gun. Uh, that's correct. So, Galactic uh, Nuts will gain two points. Manhattan Project will lose two points. We are now uh, at a five point game. 17 to 22 with uh, Galactic's Nuts in the lead. As we get to the third question that teams get back points on, that category will be Star Wars. Well, let's get back to starting with uh, Manhattan Project. I'll take it for two. And Galactic's Nuts. Yeah. All right, your question in the category of Star Wars. Which Star Wars film features creatures called Fathiers? I'm sorry, you broke up one more time. Yep. Which Star Wars film features creatures called Fathiers? Um, this is not a creature features question, despite the uh, word trickery. Who's your Fathier? Someone. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, math. I haven't done math yet. Uh, I believe if both teams hit, we will move on. Yeah, because I I can't math. Math That's is so tough, tough, yeah. Five. I haven't done this in a while. Three. Two. It was Manhattan Project's second repeat. The question again. Which Star Wars film features creatures called Fathiers? And if the only way we will uh, end is if Coho misses. Uh, if Coho hits in any capacity, we will move on. So, yeah, and math is tough. It's difficult. That's why most of us just, like, do it in early school, and then they're kind of like, eh, there's people who do that. I flunked math. Is that what you call it? Flunked? Flunked, yeah, like did not do well in, yeah. That'd be, yeah. Yeah, they, I, they made me do another year because I was so bad at math. Huh, that's sad. Yeah. <laughs> but now, like, taxes and shit, like, someone else, I can just call someone, and they'll be like, yeah, yeah we'll do that. I was terrible. I was so annoying. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, uh, last one. All right, that is Manhattan Project's final repeat. The question again. Which Star Wars film features creatures called Fathiers? Um, there are no more repeats left, which means I can tell you the exact amount of time that could be left in this match with like a standard deviation of three or so. Oh, I haven't heard that term in a while, standard deviation. I just reheard it again recently, and I was like, oh, What's shit. All What's all this math drama you're putting on? Oh, math. I used to be kind of good at math, and now I'm just – I sure. let other people do math. Right, he is a math guy. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm not sure <laughs> it was I don't think it was, but I'll take it. Three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Antonio. Star Wars The Last Jedi. And Coho. The Rise of Skywalker. And your winner, Galactic Nuts. Uh, that's still weird to say, but The Last Jedi was the we're bringing, correct. We're bringing in Cody. We will bring in Cody. I just have a question. I, I just watched it. Do they ever say that creature's name out loud I in the film? Out loud I don't remember. Do they? Because I just checked the transcript also. It does not show up. So I just Rose Rose does say it. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. Okay. Then we're good. All right, then we will end that. Uh, Galacti's not still the winner, so I'll take everyone off as I uh, talk about this match. Great match. Um, I think the big question mark here was Abel. Abel's coming back. We haven't seen him since he lost the title at the end of um, 
at the end of the fourth act of last year. And it's kind of been a big question mark. Like, has he kept up? Has he does he know what's new? Or even even if there are new things, is he already familiar with those new things, despite them being new to fandom? Um, because Antonio's been playing lights out. He's he's absolutely killing it. Uh, and Coho and Scully have proven since they've come back that they've come they've come back to play. But Obland and Antonio are a different team than when Coho and Scully left. So I think that proved this today. I think if these two teams played again multiple times, uh, you'd have a different winner multiple times. So definitely a fantastic match. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's see uh, what the teams have to say in the post-match interviews. Manhattan Project, uh, unlucky day, a couple bad bets in round three. That's sort of the name of the game. That's how it goes. You definitely kept pace with Abel and Antonio. Abel, former singles champion. Uh, Antonio absolutely killing it right now. Uh, they're, they're a team that is not to be underestimated, for sure. Uh, neither of you guys, obviously former champions, once you left, Galactic's Nuts played for your vacant belt, and they very nearly won it. So um, I definitely knew coming into this that this would be a tough competition. Um, and Galactic's Nuts showed that they're, they've they come back to play. They've been off for a while, as of you. And uh, you're both still in the tournament. You're both still highly ranked in the tournament. I'm excited to see what happens in the tournament because based on this match today, even with a couple of misses here and there, uh, I think you guys are still playing at, at a very high level of play. This was not an easily written match, let's put it that way. Uh, Manhattan Project, how are you feeling about the match today uh, overall? Um, To be honest, I mean – it, we the two of us are still trying to find our, our our rhythm. I think that 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 has been the theme of our matches ever since we came back. Um, bad misses left and right in round one. Um, pr I'm proud of how we persevere through creature features. That's a category that both of us just do, don't love. Films films and franchises that uh, you know we could really care less about, but uh, minimize the damage. It was just, you know, one or two things switching around in round three that could have made it a different game. So, um, overall, I'm not too pleased, but I know it's a long season. I know we got tournaments coming up. And, then, and at the end of the day, you know, Coho and I, singles, teams, in tournament settings, um, that's, where, that's where we're at our best. That's where we are feeling the most dangerous. So, congrats to them. They can... Uh, that they get the higher seed, we get the lower seed. I've always lost as a two seed, so personally, I'm okay with it. Um, so yeah, that's that's it pretty much. Um, just yeah. overall studying. Oh yeah, studying needs to just rebrush up on things because there are missing stuff that it doesn't. Uh, back to mine. I've played uh, along with Abel's mind games enough last season. That, oh, what's in this category? Oh, I have the answer. It's crazy. I don't know how I got this answer, but it's right here. Like, cool. I'm glad you did it. I I, I dislike you strongly as a person most of the times, but as a player, I have to respect you. So, like, overall, like, you're, you're, you're one of the top. So, I didn't want to give you anything that I saw you sweep last year. So, wasn't going to give you. So, I was just going to give you a new one, see if anything changed. Nope, it didn't change. He's still as good of a player as he was last year, and he will – do really good this season that's who he is so um yeah uh we just have to not play to the like we can't be missing questions that i'm hitting in the back that's the that's the, the bottom line i may be studying but i can't be beat outscoring these two in round one like it just can't be like they're both better players than this so they have to revisit some stuff because if I'm hitting data in round one, that's a problem. Like I hate Star Trek with a passion. So we just got to get into the, we got to go back to stuff that we think they're really good on and change it. And then we have a whole tournament to show that we're going to improve. So yeah, they'll be back, but they beat They played a team that could literally hold the belt at any point in this season. They are that good on the other side. So I have no doubt Antonio or Abel could be challenging or winning the belt. They're that good a player. So yeah, we just have to be ready for the tournament. So it's time to turn on the Jets if they want to actually win. If not, then we'll be early exits, but we don't plan to be. So let's go. Couldn't agree more. Coho, any uh, final thoughts? Uh, I just did not play as good as I thought I could. Um, not a lot of second guesses, still a couple, still got to work on that. Uh, but um, I, I, the bright side for me is I put in prep into a specific area, and it paid off. Uh, a little bit. So I will give myself that prop that I, I put in the, the, the hard studying into an area and I was able to hit questions 
uh, from it, and I'm okay with that. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll we'll just watch League of Extraordinary Gentlemen finally. <laughs> the one <laughs> in the million movie, movie that if it came up in the category, I was like, fuck. I uh, wrote the question. I don't think I could have told you that Cindy and Sandy are Dolphins if you asked me today. So, like, good shit, buddy. Um, there are definitely wins to take away from this, and I think you guys can take into the tournament as the number four seed, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Four out of eight. Um, I think you guys have a good chance, uh, and we look forward to seeing you there. Galactic's the nuts are back. I'm not going to lie. End of last season, I was kind of like, is this it for the nuts? Have we seen, like, maybe not it. Like, I'm sure they'll play again, but is this kind of the end of the nuts, like, upsetting big teams? Not even enough. I don't even think you can qualify your wins as upsets anymore because you guys are in the upper echelon of of teams that are currently playing that haven't won belts, I think. Uh, you absolutely deserve to be in those conversations. You absolutely deserve to be the number two seed in a tournament. Uh, and the way you play today, I don't, Abel, I don't know if you just know the movies that, like, know them well enough to know that the Providence is in On Stranger Tides, that when Antonio said the words, oh, yeah, Pirates is in this, you said, oh, cool, well, the Providence is in this one. Because uh, it was kind of weird. It was kind of magical to watch, to be quite frank. <laughs> um, but with that being said, uh, you have some brushing up to do just – it's weird. It's on the, it's on, it's, you missed the question of the thing that's been here for a long time <laughs> and you hit all the other ones. So I think it's this weird phenomenon of people get comfortable in the categories. They think they know really well when really maybe they need to brush up on them a little bit. Um, have you take that, go with it because I think you two are one of the favorites to, to win the whole tournament. How are you feeling about the win today? You've beaten former champions. Now you could be future champions because of it. How are you feeling? I'll let Antonio speak if he's if he unfreezes. If he's, if he's I'm honestly still like a little bit uh, shocked <laughs> because honestly, I was like, I was, you know, I've been trying to keep in touch with Abel and I know he's been doing his thing, but like, I actually was like kind of, you know, doing my own brushing up. And this is one of the moments where I thought, in a way, like for once, I would have to actually have to carry Abel, but he, he just, he surprised the hell out of me where he's like carrying me because honestly, I did not have a, 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 as good a game as I wanted to. And especially with like, you know, stuff in the brain, I was like, and the funny thing is I watched Pirates of the Caribbean. And I'm like, how did I forget that? And he just knew it right there. But that's how he is. That's why I love him as a partner. I love him as a player. So I I can only I can only look forward to just the damage we can do. Uh because I, I really I really feel like this is our year. So that's all I gotta say. And this guy is just amazing. I'm just happy to be his partner. So I'm just hoping to finally just hold that belt with him, you know. Yeah. Abel, it's been about half a year since we've seen you in any capacity. How are you feeling about uh, a win right off the bat? I feel great, man. I'm in shape. I feel good. I look good. I got a new getup. See? Yeah. yeah. I can neither confirm nor deny any studying whatsoever. <laughs> um, guys, you're in the tournament. I'm just here to have fun, and this was a lot of fun. I was honestly, I was wondering, am I still enjoying this? And yeah, I'm enjoying this. So good, man. Good well, we're enjoying having you here, having you both here. I think you're a great team. I look forward to seeing what you can do in the tournament. Congrats on the win today. Uh, and we'll see you real soon. And thus brings an end to our battle for the number two seed, as it were. Coho and Scully still at the number four seed, still in the top uh, half of the of the tournament playing this summer. Uh, both teams definitely serious threats to win the whole thing. Uh, I'm excited to see what they can do, uh, but they're going to have some tough competition. So keep, stay tuned. Uh, keep an eye out. Thank you to Manhattan Project. Thank you to Galactic's Nuts. Uh, to Cody for being here for managing. Thank you to Tim for editing this one. Uh, and be sure to check out all the other uh, matches. Next week, we have a battle for the number one seed two teams are playing. Uh, should be an exciting one. So check that out. Check all the matches out. And we'll see you next time on another exciting episode of Fandom Fights. Fandom Fights.